Hello everyone, this is James Shore with another Test Driven Development video. Today is February the 23rd for me and I am picking up again after several weeks away. And when we left off, we had just finished getting, yeah, we had just finished getting the, um, the invalid dollars to work. So now the code is set up so that you type in values um, and it you know, does its thing. But as soon as you type an invalid value, it uh, puts in question marks. So rather than crashing or displaying an error, it just puts in question marks. Um, I actually wonder what happens if we get too high. So it doesn't handle the case yet. Well, we've got an overflow. That's interesting. Um, now, I wonder if we should handle that. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, and we did this. Okay. So, what I was going to do next was have it, this is actually working nicely. It doesn't reformat if you have an invalid value, but if you have a valid value, it reformats. Um, similarly, we'll do that. Um, I'm, I'm actually really happy with the way this is working. I think it's uh, doing quite nicely. Um, what I'd like to do next is start to get in some fancier UI. So right now, it will display this dollar question, question, question. That's not particularly user friendly. And what I'd like to do is display a little icon here, uh, like a little exclamation mark, and also a little icon over here, like a red exclamation mark. And um, I'd love it if you could hover over that and it could tell you why it's not working. So, uh, like, it'd be nice if you hover over this and it says current balance is invalid or, you know, whatever this is going to be. Now, the, you could make the case that I'm gold plating, that I'm doing too much work and I really need to get a, just a thin vertical slice through. Um, and, yeah, that's that could be true. But you know what? I don't think this dollar question, question, question is adequate for the feature I'm trying to build. Just trying to build a really bare bones, vertical slice, walking skeleton of the system, which is true. Um, but I don't think this is good enough for even that bare bones system. Maybe I'm just, <laughs> maybe I'm just rationalizing. And the, the fact is, is I love a nice UI and I really want, this just, it feels ugly to me. So I'm not happy with it yet. So I could be rationalizing, maybe I should need to get a vertical, a real walking skeleton first before I start polishing. But, you know, this kind of polish is the sort of thing that if you don't do it as you go, tends to get left to the end, and then you've got this big debt of in your schedule of polished things that never get done. Uh, and I think a fair criticism of Agile is that it can lead to unpolished work if you aren't aggressive about keeping it included. So I'm going to put it in. Um, whether or not that's a rationalization or not, I don't know, but I'm going to put it in. But before that, I want to show you something else. Um, there is a bug. You may have heard about this. Uh, news came out a couple of weeks ago. There's a bug in Java's string to double conversion algorithm such that if you type in this number, 2, 2, watch the cursor, watch the blinking cursor. If you type that number in, You type that in, and it goes in infinite, infinite loop. It hangs that thread. So as soon as I type 8, the program freezes. Boom. It's done. It's gone. <laughs> There's no way to kill it short of just breaking out. So that's a fun one. Um, and what I'd like to do before anything else is... Oh, that was unrelated. Subversion. Um, what I'd like to do before anything else is actually write a test to prevent that from happening. Uh, because I'm hoping to do some exploratory testing on this with a, with a diabolical tester at some point, and um, I know that he or she will try that. And I want it to work. So um, let's see. We'll put that into... It's really a parsing thing. So let's put it into dollars test. 
and let's say that um, just parsing the double of death doesn't hang. Now, that may not be the best test name, but I'll come back to it. So this is the value. Um, Here's the other thing. I don't believe I can type this number in to the test without hanging a clips. Um, let me just demonstrate that that problem exists. Oh, look at that. It worked okay. Huh. Oh, I think I ran the wrong tests. Uh, doo -doo. There we go. <laughs> I can't believe that they have a bug this significant in the Java core libraries. Um, that just seems to me like, you know, walking denial of service attack. So what's going to happen if I say assert equals new valid dollars I think this is going to hang at clips. <laughs> I can't even cut and paste it. Or no, I think it I think it tried to parse it. Yeah. Yeah, goodbye eclipse. Uh nudie well. Oh, it's it's done. All right, there we go. So it's hanging. So what I need to do is, um, I believe there's actually multiple values that will hang it. Um, Really what I want to say is if it contains an E at all, then you know what? It's not valid. So let's do that. Okay, that should work. Good. So now if I run it and I type that magic number, um, there we go. Yeah. Okay. So th that's kind of a cool one, isn't it? It's just sort of a major gaping hole in the Java core library. I don't know what plans are to fix it. I haven't really been following it lately. Um, there's a very good chance that most websites that uh, any website that does any sort of converting a double to a uh, string to a double is probably susceptible to this and uh, that could be considered an attack against the website so you know don't go trying that against any sites you don't own anyway um that took a long time to go through it's uh getting close to the end of my session time so i'm going to call that it for today thanks very much for watching everybody i will catch you next time